Tonight, I want to talk about Loki episode five. If you have not seen episodes one through four, I highly recommend you go and catch up with it. I'll leave a link in the description on where you can actually watch the show. It's on Disney+. Plus. If you haven't been keeping up with the uh, Loki videos that I've been doing, I'll leave a link right here where you can watch the last one. And you can kind of go from there. So, major spoilers... I'm not going to go into all of the little Easter eggs that you can find because there are videos that have done that already. I really want to focus on who's behind all of this. Who is in that castle that we see at the very end? Okay, here's my theory. I think it comes down to, realistically, one of two people. I don't think it's Kang. I no longer think Kang is kind of behind all this because... It's so long before he appears in the MCU. I think that he may make some sort of appearance or they may at least mention him because there's still a really long time until he comes. So I really feel like there's there's just no way he's behind all of this. I think maybe he possibly discovers this is happening and that kind of sets him on his journey in order to become like the next big bad in the MCU. So, down to the two people I think it could be. I think it could either be He Who Remains, which in the comic book is, he's like the last of the timekeepers. He's the last one who, who does this. And he's just kind of monitoring at the very end of time. I think it's probably less likely to be him and more likely to be a version of Loki. I think that Loki is probably doing all of this. I mean, the series is about him. So I think it's probably him doing this or some version of him and he might be holding some kind of maybe contest of champions. Maybe he's been doing this for a really long time and he's just tired and he wants somebody to succeed him. And what better way than to hold this contest that shows, hey, that this is my successor. Now we may see that happening and then our Loki saying, well, no, I don't want to do this. Like this isn't my glorious purpose. You know, because we've been talking about glorious purpose this whole time. I think one of the more likely things that it is, though, is it's probably a mashup of the He Who Remains and Loki. I think they've probably kind of blended those two characters and made some sort of the last Loki of his universe kind of doing all this and pulling all these strings. And anytime a Loki kind of steps out and isn't being good or isn't set on that path of to become good, boom, he pulls him into this realm, you know, via the TVA. Because I think Loki deep down wants to be good. And anytime one of the Lokis isn't good, he pulls him out. You know, anytime they make a decision, you know, like we see Kid Loki, he killed Thor. Boom. You know, that's that's an event that you can't handle. Uh, anytime we see old Loki, you know, he hid from Thanos and then went and made a life. And I guess that was that was okay because you're growing, you're becoming something better. But then when you go and try to reconnect with Thor, maybe it's gonna set you back down on those evil, evil ways and hey, all right, boom, you're coming in. Of course, boastful Loki, we know, you know, he's not coming in. The whole alligator Loki eating the cat, I don't know. That's obviously it's probably just some kind of joke being thrown in there, but you know, there's obviously something something pulling these strings and that's what I think it is. I think it's it's not what everyone's expecting because that it would be too easy. You know, we've heard so much about Kang. I I, I just don't think it's going to be him. So will he play a role? I think so. I think he'll be mentioned in some form or fashion. I mean, he's already been mentioned a ton through indirect easter eggs. So is he definitely going to play a role? Yeah, I think so. Because in the comic books, Ravona Renslayer and him, you know, they're not really lovers as much as they are. He adores her and she finally ends up caring for him. But how would she feel if, if you know, he was behind all of this and tricking her and then she would end up resenting him? And I just don't see that happening. So... I do think it's it's probably Loki or some type of mashup of like a Loki and a He Who Remains. You know, just kind of thrown in there. I, I I think a lot of people will be a little underwhelmed by the big reveal of who's in here, 
but it's about the journey, right? Because this series has been Loki, and so I'm excited to see him grow. So if we take those six episodes and roughly you know, about five and a half hours worth of content and just see him grow from who he was when it first began to who he is now, and we have our Loki, the one that we had that obviously died to the Thanos neck snap. So that I'm excited for. I'm excited for him to, to be the Loki that we know, but he's still alive, right? So there is a chance that he pops up in the future. So I'm excited for that. I think that they're going to wrap everything up very nicely, but still leave some questions. I think one of the biggest things that we're treated to is that Loki is going to be very, very powerful. Because what this show has done is shown us that... He has a lot of different powers that he can tap into that he just isn't, you know, because all of these Lokis are him, right? They're a version of him. So we have old Loki that created Asgard out of thin air. That's how powerful his magic was. So now we know he has that potential. We know that, you know, Sylvie, Loki, she has the power to enchant. So that power is within him. And, and we got a glimpse of it when they enchanted Eliath in order to you know pull away that cloud to see the castle. So that, I think, is the big reveal that's going to come in, is that uh, this Loki has all of that power to be able to do all of this. And it's just within him, which is going to make him a very, very powerful being. Uh, a la possibly like a Scarlet Witch, you know, just the ability to just be so enormously powerful. And if he is using it mostly for good, then that's great for us, right? So the only thing that is going to be is, is they're going to have to introduce more and more powerful things in order to get people like him to face. So let's see. He may end up kind of going right back into that trickster, you know, just kind of harmless trickster stuff, but that has yet to be seen. So I'm excited for what episode six brings because I really feel like he's going to end up meeting himself and it's going to be kind of shown to him that he is just this very powerful being. So I'm excited for that. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, because this theory may be completely off base, but if it's true, you heard it here. If it's not true, then obviously I have no clue what I'm talking about. So I will see you next time.